Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, at what time between 10 and 11, will the hour hand and minute hand be at right angles? So what is the given question? You have to find out, at what time between 10 and 11, the hour hand and minute hand will be at right angles. Okay, so hour hand, minute hand, the angle between them will be 90 degree or hour hand and minute hand will be at right angles. So how to do this? So the time between 10 and 11 is asked. Therefore, you have to consider the time from 10 o'clock. So at 10 o'clock what is happening? The hour hand is at 10 and minute hand is at 12. So at 10 o'clock it will be like this. Okay, so if the hour hand and minute hand should be at right angles, then the position of the minute hand should be either at 1. There are two options. One is the position of the minute hand should be at 1. So that means the angle between 10 and 1 will be 90 degree. The angle between 10 and 11 will be 30 degree. Between 11 and 12 will be 30 degree. And again between 12 and 1 will be 30 degree. So total in between 10 and 1 the angle will be 90 degree. The easy way to find out is that when the hour hand and minute hand is at right angles, it will be 15 minutes apart. So that way you can find out. So 15 minutes apart means between 10 and 11, 5 minutes, 11 and 12, 5 minutes and 12 and 1 again, 5 minutes. So 15 minutes apart means 90 degree. So the minute hand at 1 is one option. When minute hand is at 1, then the angle between hour hand and minute hand is 90 degree. Now second option is minute hand can be at 7. Even when minute hand is at 7, the hour hand and minute hand will be at right angles. So there are two options, here also 15 minutes apart. 5 minutes, then again between 8 and 9, 5 minutes and between 9 and 10, 5 minutes. So in both directions, you have to consider 15 minutes apart. So there are two options, the minute hand can be either at 1 or minute hand can be at 7. Okay, so now consider the first option, minute hand is at 1. So when minute hand is at 1, what is the angle to be traversed? We have to calculate from 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock means minute hand is already at 12. Okay, so 10 o'clock means minute hand is already at 12. And from 12, in order to reach 1, the distance to be traveled is 30 degree. So first option we are considering, first option we are considering the minute hand at 1. When minute hand is at 1, the distance to be traveled is equal to 30 degree. How do we calculate the distance? We have to calculate the distance from 12. Because at 10 o'clock, the minute hand is already at 12. So from 12, how much distance is to be traveled? So distance traveled is equal to 30 degree. And what is the relative speed? Here both the minute hand and hour hand are traveling. Both the minute hand and hour hand are moving. So you have to consider relative speed. So what is the relative speed? It is the speed difference between the hour hand and the minute hand. As discussed in the previous video, the relative speed is always 5 and half degree per minute. Or you can say 11 by 2 degree per minute. So this is the speed difference between hour hand and minute hand. Since both are traveling, both the minute hand and hour hand are moving, you have to consider relative speed. So what is time? Time is equal to distance by speed. So here you will be getting 30 degree divided by 11 by 2 degree. So your answer will be 60 by 11 minutes. So what is 60 by 11 minutes? It will be equal to 5, 5 by 11 minutes. So that is your answer to your first option. When minute hand is at 1. So two ways the hour hand and minute hand will be at right angles. The first case is when the minute hand is at position 1. Okay, is at number 1. So at that case, the time will be 5, 5 by 11 minutes past 10. Now let's go to second option. Second case is minute hand is at 7. So minute hand at 7 means what is the distance to be traveled? Each hour is equal to 30 degree. So between 12 and 1 means 30 degree. Then again between 1 and 2 means 30 degree. Again between 2 and 3 means 30 degree and likewise it goes on. So when minute hand at 7, the distance traveled will be equal to 7 into 30 degree which gives you 210 degree. Simply you can find out the degree by multiplying 30 degree into 7. So 210 degree is the total distance to be traveled. So what will be the time? Time will be again equal to distance by speed. You have to consider relative speed because both minute hand and hour hand are moving. 
so you'll be getting 210 degree divided by 11 by 2 degree per minute so your answer will be 420 divided by 11 which gives you 30 82 8, 11 minutes so always you will be expressing your answer as a fraction so in this case the time at which the minute hand and hour hand will be coinciding uh, sorry will be at right angles with each other will be 38 2 by 11 minutes past 10 so your final answer is either 5 5 by 11 minutes past 10 or 38 2 by 11 minutes past 10 now second question at what time between 4 and 5 will the hour hand and minute hand point in opposite directions so now already we saw two cases the minute hand and hour hand our hand coinciding with each other and second case is hour hand and minute hand at right angles now the third case is the hour hand and minute hand are pointing in opposite directions so in order to point in opposite directions the hour hand and minute hand should be 30 minutes apart so only when they are 30 minutes space apart they will be able to point in opposite directions so here the time asked is between 4 and 5 so 4 and 5 means our hand is at 4 so from the position 4 30 minutes apart means what is the meaning 4 means 20 so 20 plus 30 is equal to 50 minutes and this 50 minutes is corresponding to number 10 so only when minute hand is at 10 the our hand and minute hand will be at they will be pointing in opposite directions so that is the first thing to be noted when our hand and minute hand should point in opposite directions the time difference between them should be 30 minutes that is how we calculate what should be the position of the minute hand so our hand is at 4 so minute hand should be at 30 minutes apart so the position which is corresponding to 30 minutes apart is apart is 10 so when our hand is at 4 minute hand should be at 10 so that they are pointing in opposite directions or you can just draw the figure of a clock and from that also you can understand when the hour hand is at 4 in order to be in opposite direction the minute hand should be in 10 when we are doing it analytically your answer will be 30 minutes apart so from 4 you have to calculate 30 minutes apart what is the position so you will be getting 10 so when hour hand is at 4 your minute hand should be at 10 so that the hour hand and minute hand are pointing in opposite directions now at 4 o'clock where will be the minute hand we have to take 4 o'clock as our reference so minute hand will be at 12 and from this 12 the minute hand has to travel till 10 okay so our clock is like this so we are getting 12 then 3 then 6 and 9 so 1 2 then 4 5 7 8 10 11 so you are uh, 4 o'clock means your hour hand is here and your minute hand is here so from this the minute hand has to travel till 10 so this much distance minute hand has to travel so how much distance is there how you can calculate 30 degree into 10 so distance to be traveled will be equal to you have to reach up to position 10 so it will be equal to 30 degree into 10 which gives you 300 degree So 300 degree is the distance to be traveled by the minute hand okay then what is time time is equal to distance divided by speed what is speed you have to calculate the relative speed both our hand and minute hand are moving so the relative speed is the speed difference between the our hand and minute hand it is equal to 11 by 2 degree per minute So how much you will be getting? 300 degree divided by 11 by 2 degree, which gives you 600 divided by 11 minutes. When you are expressing it as a improper fraction, you will be getting 54 6 by 11 minutes. So your answer will be the hour hand and minute hand will be pointing in opposite directions after 54 6 by 11 minutes past 4. so past for 54 6 by 11 minutes it will be pointing in opposite directions thank you for watching